Due to planetarization, differentiated cultures and countries come into contact. Western rationalism started to falter, pushed by new ideas. In the scientific field, Einstein and Planck, in philosophy with Husserl and Ortega, in psychology with Freud and Jung. The great revolutions continue and come to an end. The Russian and Mexican in 1917, the Chinese in 1946, and the Indian in 1947, while great powers collide in the world wars. World War I ended in 1918, and the second, which became in 39, is triggered by a ferocious racism aiming for world domination in the name of a Germanic Superman. The conflict in which technology ever more used for destruction concludes with the defeat of the Nazis and atomic bombs on Japan. In the worldwide social context, two main visions emerge. Gandhi's non-violence which leads to India's liberation and the dehumanizing one split in two blocks, United States and Soviet Union, opposed in the Cold War. Non-violence went on to influence some critical youth cultures of the 1960s in Western world and the improvement of human rights thanks to Mandela and Martin Luther King, although it did not affect the microscopic events. In the 68 movements, the younger generations demonstrate against capitalism and in favor of empathetic society, free from material oppressions, in the search of new meanings. But they were not up to the task they splintered into different sects such as hippieism, orientalism, drugs, armed struggle, and terrorism. After the failure of the Pestroika, socialism with a human face, and the dissolution of the Marxist Soviet model led to the end of the bipolar system, the dominant imperialist policy expressed by the US and the USSR transforms to capitalist neoliberalism controlled by the financial capital. The whole period shows its evolutive aspect through social progress and huge technological and scientific developments, seeds of a new sensibility and mental form. The digital and information revolution speeded up communications and the exchange of information enormously, marking the start of an epoch in which peoples and culture come into ever closer contact. Multiculturalism is an irreversible fact. Although not involving a real dialogue between communities, the globalization in progress is accelerating and human relationships change. In this increasingly neoliberal globalization, a supranational economic and financial power is becoming consolidated, influencing the governments all over the world. The national states are indebted and deliver their money to banks and reduce welfare by promoting privatization. The U.S. continues its imperialist push, carrying out a policy of economic and warmongering subjugation, consolidating its presence in many territories via the presence of military bases. Their image of invulnerability was seriously affected by the terrorist attack on the Twin Towers. A clash between opposing fanaticisms breaks out, economic materialism on one hand, and religion on the other, both of which express violence. Economic regionalization and new world powers have emerged. The European community expands to include other countries and adopts the Euro. In Latin America, a specific regional identity has come to being. 
partly detaching itself from neoliberal policy. New economic powers emerge. Brazil, Turkey, Russia, South Africa, India, and China, which has made substantial investments and has promoted massive immigration across the world. At the same time, Africa still suffers from ethnic struggles and political and social instability. A multipolar world has dawned. The methodology of nonviolence expressed by past youth movements has re-emerged and has blossomed into youth demonstrations. These phenomena spread instantaneously across the virtual world via the internet and bring widely scattered groups of people into contact. Horizontal forms of organization and a nonviolent sensibility are prevalent inside these movements, but still without a clear perspective about the radical transformation of existing structures. On the other hand, these kind of events show the possibility of growth of a new sensibility. Held by the appearance of global interconnection, The rejection of violence and social protests are unable to prevent the arms race and proliferation of nuclear weapons. The search for meaning is expressed more in the field of philosophy and science rather than in forms of the recognized religions. The scientific field, enhanced by technology, makes great strides and leaps closer to the unified and thorough understanding.